Welcome learners! This is Teacher Nestle. Welcome to a brand new lesson with me. But before we start, let us ask first God's guidance through a prayer. Lord God, thank you so much for giving us another day to study and prepare for a good life in the future. Thank you for giving us the chance to continue learning amidst the pandemic which caused a lot of changes in our lives. Bless our parents who work hard to support us. Bless our teachers who are doing their best to inspire and guide us especially in these trying times. Bless our country and the people who continue fighting to stop the pandemic. Lord, fill us with your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Give us good memory so that we might understand and remember what we are going to study now. These we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Okay, but before we start, let us have a few reminders. First, I want you to listen. Second, I want you to follow all the directions that will be given to you in all the activities. And third, I want you to be prepared. Do you have your pens, your notebooks, your papers, and your module with you? If yes, then good job! Now, are you ready? I can't hear you. Are you all ready? Well, that's great. Now let's start with our first activity. What's in a pic? Look at the pictures and answer the questions that follow. Here's the first picture. And the second picture. I will give you time to scan the pictures. Okay, now let's go to the questions. What are the pictures all about? Yes, it depicts safety measures during COVID-19 pandemic. Number two. Can you identify the place an individual or individuals found in the pictures? Yes, that is a community or place within the Philippines. And of course, who will not notice? President Rodrigo Duterte and Senator Bongo. Now number three, do you know the circumstances surrounding the pictures? For the first picture, thermal scanner in every checkpoint within the community. For the second image, the president is having a swab test to make sure he is not infected with COVID-19. So all of this are all about the safety precautionary measures during the COVID-19 pandemic. And where do we get all this? Of course, through the news. Now, news has been a great part of our daily living. In times of pandemic, we rely too much on the information given to us in the newspaper, television, and radio. Thus, it is really essential to know what is journalistic writing and its basic features. This module provides you fun activities on identifying what is journalism and its basic features. 
With the help of this module, you will discover the essential points to remember in journalistic writing. Every part of this module has exciting activities that await you. Now, for the learning competency, we are going to focus on Distinguishing Features of Journalistic Writing Learning is fun! So, let us continue the journey. Relate it or not. Identify if the words below can be related to journalism. Put a check if it relates and X if it is not. Write your answers on your answer sheet. Number 1. Investigation What do you think? Yes, it is a check. Number 2. Fictional What is your answer? Yes, that is an X. Number 3. Events This is another check. Number 4. Reporting What do you think? Yes, it is still a check. Number 5. Audience Yes, another check. Good job! Among the five words, only fictional is the outcast. Why? Because remember learners that journalism is the investigation and reporting of events, issues, and trends to a broad audience. This is based on foxed and not in fictional details. How many correct answers did you get? If you got 4 to 5, very good. If you got 2 to, two to 3, good. Have more practiced. If you got 0 to 1, don't you worry, learners. There is always room for improvement. Now, let us get to our reading time. Read the news article below and answer the questions that follows. Apple Electric Car Apple is a very successful company. The company makes and sells phones, computers, and other things. Apple makes iPhone iPhone changes the world of phones. Apple has plans to make an electric car. The car will not have a driver. The company does not give any information about it. Many people believe that Apple's electric car will be special. It is not easy to make an electric car. It takes a long time to build a factory for electric cars. It is very expensive too. It seems that Apple will work together with another automaker. It is not clear which company it will be. Electric cars are popular in Europe. Around 800 million cars could be in the world in 2050. Okay, now let's go to the questions. Number 1. Who is planning to create an electric car? What is your answer? Yes, Apple Company or Apple. Number 2. Why it is not easy to make an electric car? It is not easy to make an electric car because it takes a long time to build a factory for electric cars and it is very expensive too. Number 3. Where do electric cars popular? Yes, you're right. It is popular in Europe. Number 4. 
when it is expected to have large number of electric cars in the world. It is expected to have large number of electric cars in the world in 2050. And last question, what will be the feature or features of the electric car? Yes, you're right. The car will not have a driver. That is excellent. Okay, so if you got 4 to 5, that is great. You got it. 2 to 3, good. But read more to improve your comprehension. If you got 0 to 1, it's alright. Always remember, there is a room for improvement. Do not worry. There are more activities for you. Now, remember, to collect key information about your writing topic, ask and answer the five W's and H questions. What are these questions? Who? What? When? Where? Why? And how? These questions are sometimes called journalistic questions because all news stories should answer them. Gather answers to the five W's and H questions anytime you are writing about an event, an experience, or something that happened. In journalism, one tends to agree on the fact that no story is complete without the above requirements. And missing any of the above questions will leave a mark on the story. Now, let's explore more. Read the sentences and identify whether it is a feature of journalistic writing or not. Put a smiley if it is a feature of journalistic writing. And a sad emoticon if it is not. Number 1. Article is written in short sentences and paragraphs and quickly gets to the point. What is your answer? Yes, that is a smiley. Number two. Most of the time, it is subjective and relies on opinions or emotional appeals. Okay, the answer is yes, it is a sad emoticon. Number three, it can include any fictional details to make the articles more interesting. The answer is, yes, that is a sad emoticon. Number four, the first sentence or paragraph lays out the story so the reader knows what to expect. Yes, that is a smiley. Number five, journalistic writing should have wide appeal and can be easily understood. It is another smiley again. Now, remember the ABC of journalistic writing. Accuracy, brevity, conciseness. One of the obvious characteristics of journalistic writing is short sentences and paragraphs, which are intended to make the article easy to read and understand. In most cases, journalistic writing is objective, meaning that it relies on facts and evidences, rather than opinions or emotional appeals. Although the majority of traditional journalism strives for objectivity, Many news outlets do offer opinions or arguments in a specific format, known as an editorial column or section that focuses on controversial social issues. But what is the purpose of journalistic writing? Let us uncover the hidden word that follows. What's more? Guess the hidden word by naming the images shown. 
get the first letter of the name of the image as order shown to reveal the, head, the hidden word. For the first picture, are you familiar with this one? Yes, this is a setter. Take note of letter C. Second, yes, this is an iguana. Okay, so get letter I. Number three, yes, she is a very familiar Disney character. Who is she? Yes, this is Tinkerbell. Take note of letter T. Number four. Yes, this is an igloo. So let's get letter I. Number five. Yes, this is the Greek god Zeus. Get letter Z. Number six. Yes, this is a precious gem. And this is an emerald. Letter E. Seven. Okay, so who is, who likes the Mape subject? If you like Mape subject, then you know this one. This is, yes, or these are notes. So take note of letter N. So we have C, I, T, I, Z, E, N. Now, what word did you get by combining all the first letter of the seven pictures? If you have citizen, then bravo! You got it right! What is the connection of the word citizen to journalism? Well, functions of journalism or journalism are to inform, educate, guide, and entertain. It provides citizens with the information they need to make the best possible decisions about their lives, their communities, their societies, and their governments. Now, can we distinguish easily if a writing is journalistic or not? Let us try in the next activity. Now, let's go to quiz time. Direction. Identify whether the given situation is journalism or not. If it is journalism, write yes. Otherwise, write no. Number one. Vance submits to his boss his report of the feasibility study he conducted. What do you think? Yes, it is journalism. Why? Because it involves reporting and investigating. Number two, Elton Fly files a flash report on TV Patrol about the UFO that is now visible in areas around Mandurial. It is still a yes. Number three, Christopher confides to his best friend that he saw the murder in the cathedral. What is the answer? Oops, that is no. Why? Because journalism involves broad audience. Number four. Brian tells the whole class that the governor has accepted his project proposal. Yes, because it shows broad audience. Good job! Number five. Kyle writes posts on his blog, the anomalies he has discovered in the city hall. Yes, this is still journalism. Number six, Robert sends a series of text messages to his friends informing them that Pagasa has issued a tsunami warning or a tsunami warning. Yes, this is still journalism. Number 7. Alexis sends a letter to the manager asking him to investigate his employee. 
Yes, this is not journalism because there is no investigating yet that is or investigation that is happening yet. Number 8. Mark makes a video documentary about the backdoor issues in Southern Philippines. Yes, of course, this is journalism. Number 9. Jen exposes in a Sunday column the red tape practices in the embassy. Okay, so still this is a yes. And number 10. The principal issues a circular asking all the department heads to observe proper waste disposal in their respective offices. And that is still a yes. So did you get a perfect score? That's great! Now, what will you always remember in this lesson? First, journalism is the investigation and reporting of events, issues, and trends to a broad audience. Second, five W's and H questions, who, what, when, where, why, and how, these questions are sometimes called journalistic questions because all news stories should answer them. Third, always remember the ABC of journalistic writing. A for accuracy, B for brevity, and letter C for conciseness. One of the obvious characteristics of journalistic writing is short sentences and paragraphs. Why? Because they are intended to make the article easy to read and understand. In most cases, journalistic writing is objective, meaning that it relies on facts and evidences rather than opinions or emotional appeals. And functions of journalism are to inform, educate, guide, and entertain. It provides citizens with the information they need to make the best possible decisions about their lives, their communities, their societies, and their governments. Now for your homework. Discover an interesting event within your community. Write a short paragraph about it. Remember to follow the features of journalistic writing for that, okay? Now, it is time to say goodbye. I thank you so much for being in my class today. Teacher Ness Lee will say bye for now. Reminding you to study for things to be easy. See you soon in our next lesson. Bye! Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye to me. Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Goodbye to you, goodbye to you. Goodbye to you, goodbye to me Goodbye, see you next time everyone Goodbye, see you next time everyone Goodbye, see you next time everyone Goodbye to you, goodbye to you Goodbye to you, goodbye to me Goodbye, see you next time everyone Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye to me. Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Goodbye.
goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye to me, goodbye, see you next time.